In 2022 alone, heart failure affected about 64 million people globally. Overall, around 2% of adults have heart failure, and in those over the age of 65, this increases to 6 to 10%. But what is heart failure, and how do you exactly manage this condition? Heart failure, also known as congestive heart failure, is a syndrome, a group of signs and symptoms caused by an impairment of the heart's blood pumping function. Symptoms typically include shortness of breath, excessive fatigue, and leg swelling. The shortness of breath may occur with exertion or while lying down and may wake people up during the night. Chest pain, including angina, is not usually caused by heart failure, but may occur if the heart failure was caused by a heart attack. The severity of the heart failure is measured by the severity of symptoms during exercise. Other conditions that may have symptoms similar to heart failure include obesity, kidney failure, liver disease, anemia, and thyroid disease. Common causes of heart failure include coronary artery disease, heart attack, high blood pressure, atrial fibrillation, valvular heart disease, excessive alcohol consumption, infection, and cardiomyopathy, which is a disease of the heart muscle that makes it harder for the heart to pump blood to the rest of the body. These cause heart failure by altering the structure or the function of the heart, or in some cases both. There are different types of heart failure. Right-sided heart failure, which affects the right heart. Left-sided heart failure, which affects the left heart. And biventricular heart failure, which affects both sides of the heart. Heart failure is not the same as cardiac arrest, in which blood flow stops completely due to the failure of the heart to pump effectively. No diagnostic criteria have been agreed on as the gold standard for heart failure. The diagnosis is based on symptoms, physical findings, and echocardiography. Blood tests and a chest X-ray may be useful to determine the underlying cause. A more accurate classification of heart failure type is made by measuring ejection fraction, or the proportion of blood pumped out of the heart during a single contraction. Ejection fraction is given as a percentage with the normal range being between 50 and 75 percent. The two types are heart failure due to reduced ejection fraction, which is associated with an ejection fraction less than 40 percent, and heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, which occurs when the left ventricle contracts normally during systole, but the ventricle is stiff and does not relax normally during diastole, thus impairs filling. Heart failure may also be classified as acute or chronic. Chronic heart failure is a long-term condition, usually kept stable by the treatment of symptoms. Acute decompensated heart failure is a worsening of chronic heart failure symptoms, which can result in acute respiratory distress. High output heart failure can occur when there is increased cardiac demand that results in increased left ventricular diastolic pressure, which can develop into pulmonary congestion, also known as pulmonary edema. In its 2001 guidelines, the American College of Cardiology Working Group introduced four stages of heart failure. Stage A, which are people at high risk for developing heart failure in the future, but without functional or structural heart disorder. Stage B, which consists of structural heart disorder without symptoms at any stage. While stage C patients experience symptoms of heart failure in the context of an underlying structural heart problem, but managed with medical treatment. Lastly, stage D is considered an advanced disease requiring hospital-based support, a heart transplant, or palliative care. Heart failure is caused by any condition that reduces the efficiency of the heart muscle through damage or overloading. Over time, these increases in workload, which are mediated by long-term activation of neurohormonal systems such as the renin-angiotensin system, leading to fibrosis, dilation, and structural changes in the shape of the left ventricle. The heart of a person with heart failure may have a reduced force of contraction due to overloading of the ventricle. In a normal heart, increased filling of the ventricle results in increased contraction force, and thus a rise in cardiac output. In heart failure, this mechanism fails as the ventricle is loaded with blood to the point where heart muscle contraction becomes less efficient. This is due to reduced ability to cross-link actin and myosin myofilaments in overstretched heart muscle. Heart failure is a leading cause of hospital readmissions in the United States. People aged 65 and older were readmitted at a rate of 24.5 per 100 admissions in 2011. These rates are predicted to increase, mostly because of increasing lifespan, but also because of increased risk factors, such as hypertension and diabetes. In our next video, we will talk about the available treatment options to manage this condition. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe to see our latest content. See you next time.